Hey guys, before this video begins, be sure to follow me on Instagram at UnrealDBZ, Twitter at Unreal and Gaming, and subscribe to my second channel over at Unreal Network for more alternative content to this. And with all that out of the way, I hope you guys sit back and enjoy. Now, chances are, following the success of the Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 remake, Capcom is more than likely to now be looking forward in remaking various other Resident Evil games in the future of their company, to where although many selections could be subjective and people not wanting to see specific remakes from specific titles, realistically speaking, chances are at some given point in the future, we are going to be seeing a remake of the once popular and still popular Resident Evil 4 title. But the question is, is it too soon? Or can they take the overall Resident Evil 4 property and make it better than what it was before? Now on the channel prior, we've done a video to where we explained why a potential Resident Evil 4 remake could end up being a good thing. So if you haven't checked that video, out, be sure to go on ahead and do so, as here today, we are going to be discussing the overall pragmatics of what they can ultimately include in Resident Evil 4 to potentially make the Resident Evil 4 remake that much better by comparison to the original, and although many people are going to say that it's a tad bit early to have a game like that be remade, to an extent, I agree, but at some point we are going to be facing the challenge of having Capcom have this be weighed in to where their ultimate decision will be to either remake the game or not. Now, from a company standpoint in order for them to make money, of course then by going along and remaking this game would that be a viable option for them, and of course for us the consumer we would of course buy the game if of course it's good, but that's only if the Resident Evil 4 remake proves to be on an equal caliber or better than what the original had presented. And for this to happen, what Capcom needs to execute is following the main narrative of Resident Evil 4, but I also firmly believe that by expanding the village, by expanding Leon's journey into different territories do I only then believe would add on to the story itself and allow the players to see a different perspective, encounter different enemies if they want to go into that potential route, and also if they want to go on ahead and do somewhat of a dual story kind of scenario as we've seen with Jill and Carlos in Resident Evil 3 and in the Resident Evil 2 remake with Leon and Ada, they could ultimately adapt a similar scenario by either having us play as Ada Wong and getting her perspective on Resident Evil 4 or even dive into Louis Sarah or Louis Sarah as we've seen in Resident Evil 4 and having to dive more in depth in seeing Louis's perspective on not only seeing what happens with him and the encounters he has with the villagers but also having his story kind of tie into helping Leon before his inevitable death that would be a pragmatic kind of way in going about Resident Evil 4 in introducing different perspectives and having us play as Leon and Ada or Leon and Louis in adding more depth to the Resident Evil 4 story now I think I also speak on behalf of many other people when I say Resident Evil 4 should not adapt any kind of a multiplayer based system because upon the release of the Resident Evil 3 remake we also had Resident Evil Resistance and that was something that was tremendously overlooked only because fans of the Resident Evil franchise don't want to encounter and participate in any kind of massive shooting based operative to where we have a multiplayer system to where it feels similar to every other game but instead they want Resident Evil to strictly be Resident Evil. And that is something that I truly believe the Resident Evil 4 remake needs to be, and it needs to be a game that is far more terrifying than the Resident Evil 3 remake, because the Resident Evil 3 remake, as good as it was, it lacked the depth of having to captivate the players and leave them absolutely terrified, just like the Resident Evil 2 remake did, except only here, the RE3 remake was solely focused on adding more action than terror, as we've seen with the RE2 remake, and if they were going to announce and do a Resident Resident Evil 4 Remake, what they definitely need to focus on is the aspect of terror, is the aspect of suspension, is the aspect of actual horror because one of the many reasons why so many people love and enjoy Resident Evil 4 was because it was dark, it had a very gritty tone to it, and the game itself actually presented a terrifying score that is arguably one of the best in the franchise. So with Resident Evil 4, what they need to focus on more than any other game before it is the aspect of horror, allowing this game to feel abandoned, allowing the player to actually feel as if there is no way out, and Resident Evil 4 is undeniably a classic, however, 
it did pave the way for the later games which many have found to be mediocre in comparison to the older titles just like Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6 and while it did shift the game on over to a over the shoulder shooter kind of perspective they could ultimately adapt a similar concept to the RE2 and RE3 remake where the over the shoulder camera angle is still there in allowing Leon to actually move freely as he aims down sight but also allowing the villagers to be a lot smarter in their approach rather than just simply step forward in having to get shot by Leon but also what I believe would be very interesting to add on to the game is a mechanic to where they include something very similar to Mr. X and Nemesis from the RE2 and RE3 remake to where Leon could be constantly pursued by an enemy perhaps maybe the chainsaw swinging maniac or maybe a different person to where it constantly allows the player to be in a ever so intensive kind of atmosphere to where they know no matter where it is they go they're always being pursued by perhaps maybe the chainsaw swinging maniac or a different person to where I personally believe a good addition to that would be the chainsaw maniac and the fact that this person could constantly run towards the player in sawing down doors busting through walls and I think that by adding this mechanic in the game would that only introduce lots of tension for the player and constantly having to run away but the bottom line is if they're going to do a Resident Evil 4 remake they need to make the game darker and a lot more terrifying not only than the previous two remakes but also the original as well now even though yes 15 plus years later the game still plays very well on the ps4 on pc hell even back on the ps2 and gamecube but if you really stop and think about it at some point capcom will go on ahead and remake this game but the question is when and i think that the best time to do this would be in the next xbox and playstation 5 era only because on those platforms including pc would we only have more of an expansive area to where they could add in more depth to the story they could give us more landscapes to explore they could add extensions to the story and making it similar to the original but also having its own spin on it kind of like giving us sort of like a what if except only done better without the convolution of having to stray away from the main narrative and truth be told there are so many reasons why res Resident Evil 4 should be the next Resident Evil game to receive a remake from the ground up and there are so many counter arguments as to why and if you are one of those people I do want to get your feedback as to why you don't want to see a RE4 remake but even then if they were to give us Code Veronica prior that's fine but when looking at the overall title of Resident Evil 4 in comparison to what we could end up getting later on down the road with a remake there is without question so much potential that the remake could have without any restrictions and Resident Evil Evil 4 while arguably not up for the tactical standards of modern experiences one of the main fears that so many people have with the Resident Evil 4 remake is having it be eerily similar to Resident Evil 6 or Resident Evil Resistance to where they focus solely more on the action than the overall suspense and horror of the game to where I strongly disagree with because I don't think that Capcom would be that dumb to create a different Resident Evil 4 than what we've originally seen with its predecessor versus the success of what they've turned the RE2 and RE3 remakes into in being something that actually stuck true to the original and followed its original formula nearly to a T. Which again all varies on time because these remakes actually do take some time to create but even then nobody really knows as to what kind of engines and what kind of technology we're going to be entering once we enter 2021, 2022, 2023 and etc. But we can only expect to see a potential Resident Evil 4 remake look and feel at its absolute finest especially if they take the time to follow its original concept but in the end i want to get your thoughts in the comment section below on whether or not they should remake resident evil 4 and if it should be for the next gen consoles and pc as well as seeing what you guys want to see be added if you choose to want to see this be remade and the fact that i want to get your thoughts and opinions on the story i want to get your thoughts and opinions on the potential add-ons and side stories and what i also want to know is would you be down for Capcom to not only continue to make brand new Resident Evil games like Resident Evil 8, perhaps maybe one day Resident Evil 9 and etc, but do you think that Capcom should also go back in remaking some of the older games, perhaps maybe Resident Evil 1 again, Resident Evil 0, Resident Evil Dead Aim, Code Veronica, hell, maybe going back to even remaking Outbreak, so I want to get your thoughts in the comment section below. Again, 
Thank you all so much for your time. Thank you all so much for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, then be sure to go on ahead and smash that subscribe button and give this video a big fat thumbs up if you guys simply love and enjoy Resident Evil. Tune back in for more. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you all in the next video. Take it easy, guys. Peace. <laughs>